Welcome back to Robeson Design. I'm Rebecca Robeson, and today I'm gonna to take you where few have ever gone. Unless you were part of the last design sessions, you've never seen my bathroom. Or at least not much of it. This is what my bathroom looked like when we moved here 15 years ago. I didn't have the money to change out my fixtures, my, my sinks and my faucets and my shower and my tub. And I didn't have the money to replace my cabinets, but I had a little bit of money, and here's how I chose to spend it. Number one, I changed the walls. Clearly the wallpaper needed to go, so we removed the wallpaper. Then we changed the texture on the walls to a hand skip trowel. We then painted the walls and the ceiling. And here's the reason I painted the ceiling and the walls the same color. You know, typically you see ceilings a lighter color than the walls, in this case, there are so many angles in this bathroom and in this bedroom that by painting it all one color, it soothed all those lines that were so distracting before. We added an arch to the entrance to the actual shower and toilet room, and we closed in the opening that used to be, there was like this little box opening above the entrance to the bathroom. What for? We addressed the lighting in the bathroom, which is oh so important. We took out that soffit that was above the vanity in this bathroom area and we replaced it with a beautiful light bar that gives off great light. I have a makeup mirror that has lights to it as well and just a little side note, we did drill a hole in the countertop so that it could drop down and I had my electrician put an outlet underneath of my cabinet so that can be plugged in at all times. We also added some very romantic and sexy sconces to the tub area. And number four, I added a custom made tub curtain. Here at this Roman tub, I actually custom made this curtain with a beautiful swag. It's complete with mirrors that are hanging down on one side and crystals on the other. During the day, as the light comes in through the skylight, it hits those crystals and the mirrors and it literally dances. Number five, we added mirror across the entire wall from the top of the backsplash all the way to the ceiling and then we wrapped it around the sides to the same areas where the backsplash finished. It gives us a wrap around mirrored effect and it's really pretty impressive. Number six was involved in these mirrors as well because this was the coolest thing. Now, I love medicine cabinets because they're so functional, but I don't like the way they look because they pop out from the wall. And even if you have it recessed into the wall, you've got this like random rectangular medicine cabinet that just sort of looks weird. And I wanted my mirror to go all the way up, so look what I did. I added medicine cabinets that were actually cut right into this mirror that we added. Now look at this. It's simple, touch latch, and voila, access to my medicine cabinet. There's one over there too. Number seven. I love to have a vanity where I can put my makeup on, but this countertop was already here and the cupboards were already here and I could not afford to replace them yet. So I built up a vanity area for myself right here in the center. This is actually, I think, a charging station for telephones and stuff, but no matter, I turned mine into my makeup area and it comes right up at me as well as this tilting mirror where I can see my makeup, I can see my face, and I can put my makeup on and I don't even need to sit. Number eight, this was big. The oak cabinets that were stained in a honey color were just not my taste. Remember this was 15 years ago. It was right when espresso stain was coming in in cabinetry. We actually had these sprayed in a ghost coat where you can still see the texture of the wood grain coming through, but it's a nice rich chocolate color. And number nine, of course, we added hardware. I love these pulls for my drawers right here, as well as knobs for the cabinets themselves. Just a little bit of jewelry for your cabinets. Last but not least, the floor. 
Yes, we replaced the blue nasty carpet that was in the bathroom. It had to go. So we put in some ceramic tiles that sort of look like Saltillo and actually goes really well with the dark chocolate floors I have in my home upstairs. So that's how we completed this bathroom. 10 easy steps that were relatively inexpensive. Leave me a comment below and let me know what was your favorite of the 10 tips is this helpful for you? Did you see or hear about something today that you could actually use in your own home? You know, that's what this is all about. We want you to take these ideas and exercise them in your own home. The best way to learn how to do that properly and not make any mistakes is to join us for the design sessions. The last one we did was on spring cleaning and purging. And you know what? We purged, purged, purged. We cleaned and I'm really loving my new master bathroom. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We love it when you subscribe and always hit that uh, little bell icon next to the subscribe button and that way you'll get an email alerting you when we have new content going up. Just so you know, next week at this time we're gonna be uploading a video on exactly how I made this shower curtain. So if this struck your interest and you'd like to see how that was done, come back and watch that video. All right, you guys, we love you. Give us a thumbs up if you would. If you liked the video, leave us a comment and we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.